Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster, and today I want to show you around our latest van build. This is going to be on a metric, a Metris, so this is a 126 wheelbase. A few exterior highlights of this rig. We have an SCA pop top for Metris up top, and then we also have a Journeys off-road 3-inch lift kit specifically again for the Metris. Let's step inside and we can talk about design and layout. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this build, I'll talk about design highlights as well as the overall layout. So starting on the floor, we have a lone seal, lone sand flooring. So that's going to be nice and grippy and kind of rugged for everything that they're going to take, all the adventures that they're going to take this vehicle on. We have a Duramax upholstered bench seat here, and then we have a bleaker canvas upholstered wall and ceiling panels. Um, our countertops are going to be paper stone azure, and then all of our cabinetry is going to be maple slab door. When it comes to layout in this small but mighty build, we have our galley up front here. We have the dinette, which I'm sitting on, which can convert into the lower bed. We have a ton of storage over in the rear of the vehicle. Um, this is also going to act as storage for our plumbing and power systems. And then we have the pop top. So we have this in the lifted position right now, which allows me to be standing in this vehicle. But when they are ready to have two additional sleepers go up there, we can just lower it down and that's going to turn into a secondary bed. So I'm going to start in the galley and we'll work our way back from there. In the galley of this vehicle, we have um, a 15 by 15 Revati workstation sink, and that's going to have the cutting board insert. We also have an Impava two burner induction cooktop. Underneath that, we have a nice big drawer here. As per usual, this is going to be on RV latches to ensure it stays secure while in transit. We have a seven gallon removable gray water tank underneath the sink. And then lastly, we have an isotherm drawer style fridge here. Moving rearward, we have our dinette. So this is going to be really nice and functional because we have our maple table on a lagoon mount so that can be used outside of the vehicle or at the bench seat here. Additionally, underneath our seat, we just have a nice open storage bay. And then lastly, this is going to turn into our lower sleeping area. So when you remove the table, we can just flip this backrest over and that turns into a fully laid out bed. Closing out this area, we also have this bed um, in the pop top. So this pop top's really nice because you can stand up in the vehicle fully and we have three uh, windows around the perimeter. When you want to actually use this bed, you can just reach up, pull it down, and then it becomes flush with uh, this line on the van. So you have a nice sleeping area for two. Let's check out the rear. In the rear of the vehicle here, you can just see a little bit more of our storage. So both of these doors open up. Then you have a ton of storage there as well as access to your freshwater tank. So the other port where we have access to the freshwater tank is going to be through this cubby. You can see it in there. We have a 20 gallon freshwater tank in this vehicle as well as an outdoor shower that can be hooked up there. Lastly, we have our power systems under here. So we have a 3000 watt inverter, we have 340 amp hours of AGM supercycle battery bank, and we have 100 watts of solar coming in through the top. That wraps up this Metris van build. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.